Welcome to the Eastfield Syllabus Upload Tool tutorial video. This video is intended to help you set up, navigate, and utilize the new HB2504 Syllabus Upload Tool. First, let's start off with an overview and frequently asked questions. So you might be asking, what is this new tool and what does it mean for Eastfield faculty? Answer, the District Syllabus Upload Tool will provide a quicker, more automated way for faculty to upload their syllabi in Vitae. Instead of uploading and submitting your syllabi to the Division eCampus communities, faculty will now upload syllabi to the new tool moving forward. And since this process is now automated, Division Assistants will no longer be checking your syllabi uploads for errors. Faculty are now responsible for ensuring all syllabus content is correct and up to date. Frequently Asked Questions How long does it take for my syllabi to show up on the course schedule? Uploaded documents will usually be processed in the mornings, so expect your file to show up within 24 to 48 business hours after uploading. Can I use any browser? Here are the recommended browser versions from the district. Basically, if you're using a relatively updated browser, you're good to go. Do I need to worry about the page timing out? The session will time out after the screen is left inactive for more than five minutes. When the page times out, all of the in-progress uploads will fail and you'll have to start over. If you need to upload just a few and come back, that is not a problem. Just be sure to upload any in-progress items before leaving the page. First time logging in. In order to access the new Syllabus Upload tool, you'll need to log into My Portal. To access My Portal, type the following into any web browser. myportal.dccd.edu and hit enter. You'll be prompted to enter your username and a password. Use your 3x4 username and password you normally use to access Outlook. This is the My Portal homepage. Lots of links for you to use here, but we're going to focus on this one. Click this link to enter the new Syllabus Upload tool. If this is your first time logging in, keep playing the video. We'll cover setting up your account for the first time and then show how to use the system itself. But if you've already used this tool before and just want a refresher on how to upload your syllabi, skip ahead in the video. Setting up your account. When you navigate to the Syllabus Upload tool for the first time, you'll see the following screen. You'll need to click on the register link in order to finalize setting up your account. Once the page finishes loading, you should see your information populated on the screen. If the text box for Vita number is empty, fill in your Vita number in the space provided. Next, select the certification checkbox and click the register button to complete your account setup. Now you may be asking, what if I need help finding my Vita number? Your Vita number is available on eConnect. You will use the eConnect faculty screen to access your Vita number. Step one, go to eConnect and then click on faculty menu. Step two, click on my Vita number. Step three, your Vita number will be shown on the page. Write it down and enter this number in the registration field on the form. Once you have finished registering your account, the document management page will load. This is where you will upload any new syllabi and Vita anytime you make changes to your master documents. Navigating the system and uploading documents. This is your document dashboard. Here you can upload and manage your files. Let's quickly cover the main items you'll need and use. The top area is the Vita upload section. Here's where you can upload your first Vita document and as needed, manage the version loaded to the course schedule. Next is the syllabi upload section. Here's where you'll see the list of courses you are teaching and an area to upload a syllabus file for each course. Most users will simply click the Browse button and upload their syllabus PDF for each corresponding course. You do not need to worry about the file name for the syllabus anymore. The new system will automatically name your file to match the corresponding course and section number. The only requirement you need to worry about is to ensure that your syllabus file is a PDF. To upload your syllabus for your course, follow these steps. Step one, click the browse button next to the corresponding course. Step two, locate your syllabus PDF file and click open in the box provided. This attaches the file and gets it ready for uploading. Notice that there is now an upload button next to the browse button we just clicked a second ago. So now you have a choice to make. You can either go ahead and upload the file you just browsed for, or you can continue attaching files and use the Upload All button here. Either way works, it's up to you. Optional, click the Verify button and this will show all the uploads you have entered and allows you to ensure the correct files are loaded to the correct courses. 
and now you've completed uploading your syllabi. This video is intended to assist faculty who are new to the system, or maybe those who have forgotten a small step. If you need any assistance or help with getting your files loaded, feel free to contact any of the below folks in the Center for Excellence in Teaching and Learning.